Welcome to another Professor Pinball creation. Today we have Theater of Magic. And while I have done a previous video on the Pinduino for controlling the LED lights on the ramps, which you can see sparkling right now in purple, um, this is a fresh rebuild. Uh, so what I've done is I've uh, taken my Theater of Magic, put in a new play field for Marcos, and just rebuilt everything um, on the entire game. So it's playing fast, it's playing mean, um, it's absolutely spectacular. And one of the key things that I did while I had the whole play field uh, torn down was I replaced the GI lighting with addressable LEDs. And so what this means is that the general illumination now is under control of a Pinduino so that as you're in gameplay, um, you'll get all sorts of fun lighting effects, mostly color changes. And you can see right now that they're running uh, sparkling. Um, Specifically, if you take a look at the back panel uh, behind the, the curtains there, you can see them coming on and off. I think they're flashing yellow. But as the attract mode cycles, different colors will show up here. And just in terms of the other things I've done with the setup is I've put in um, uh, additional LEDs uh, under the star posts all around the game. I changed them all to white so that I could get a lot more brightness, as well as added in a couple of spots down here by the flippers. One of the things I've noticed is that when you're doing color control GI, um, especially if you're playing in a darkened room, it's easy to lose track of the ball when the colors change, especially if it's just using uh, one, one channel like red or blue. And so just having things that are constantly on in white, um, although it does diminish over the overall effect of those lights, it makes it a lot easier to see the ball. So I'm going to go ahead and play a game. Um, however long I can and um, check out what these lights look like. So attract mode, um, basically the Petuno is just going through a cycle waiting for some sort of flasher activity or the trunk motor to be activated. When that happens, um, then we'll be in full game mode and the GI will be changing based on what is happening. So try to get an illusion, which I missed. There we go. Had an effect. Now we just have GI set to white. There are some nice ones. See if I can get up one of these ramps here. There we go. Changing red to blue. Got my trunk open. So I got things keyed in, so often we'll get ramp effects as well as GI effects. But now that the game is sort of in state, GI is just set to white. And then once any of those flashers get going, we'll see something happen. Uh, we're paying attention. 10 million. No fun. You have the magic. All my code will be up on GitHub. I'll post a link to it below for anyone that wants to make one of these themselves. Now, oh, new games. Things sometimes make a little adjusting. At least I got my locks lit. Multi-ball. Oh, look at all those effects. That's what I like. Let me get a mode going. Oh, yeah, second lock. Watch the trunk as it moves. Everything will give us a nice red. And let's get into multi-ball. Right, so let's try to get into multi-ball. Oh man, I love theater of magic. And uh, all I can say is, after rebuilding everything, and the game is super sped up with a new play field, clear coat, wax, this one is just plain brutal. Yeah, get my bonus built up. Got a little bit of it. Oh no, one's gone. Oh, just one jackpot. There we go. Oh, bouncing and out. Ah, super strong flippers. What do you expect? Oh man. One last shot, didn't make it. Well, that was a waste of a multi-ball. But still a ton of fun. Pots are great with the uh, Pinduino lighting effect. Everything is keyed in. All the flashes that this game has, which is pretty nice effect. My vanish lit. There we go. Getting closer. 
Spinner just goes for miles. That's been freshly cleaned and uh, a little bit of a little bit of oil on there. Oh, that was lame. All right, at least I got my vanish. Be able to do one more ball, and then um, yeah, hopefully that's giving you just an idea of some of the things you can do with the Pinduino. You can really take these old games and uh, update them with some fun lighting effects. Uh, for those that are wondering, this, this game is running the uh, home ROM on um, version one three has a uh, better scoring so you can't totally exploit shooting the uh, left orbit or center ramp over and over again and building up your bonus. Um, yay! I don't think I'll be able to get my extra ball like collecting all those clocks, but I'll try. Get a little select save. Pretty out of control. Let's see if we can slow it down. All right, come on, haunted house. I'll take it. For what I like in skill, I'll make it up with some luck. I do want that monkey ball again. Ah, love the ball save on these ones. These are great, great games. Oh, all right, thank all three. We'll go ahead and let the game get into attract mode, or finish up the game. I can't remember it does flashes at the end, just to give you one final little uh, show. Uh, but I'll cancel it out. And we're back into regular mode. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, you can post them down below or find me over on Pinside. Thanks for watching.